Now let's do 10 item numerical reasoning quiz. Ang mga ito na ini-include ko dito sa 10 questions lang, ito yung mga kadalasang lumalabas sa civil service exams. Hindi man siya 100% na ganyan talaga, pero may kahalintulad sila. Number 1, PEMDAS. Maraming nagkakamali dito. So, bago natin umpisahan yung solutions dito, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga references from grade 4, 5, 6, 7, at saka yung mga elementary algebra regarding order of operation. Number 2, number series. Mayroon tayong tips of number series. Ilalagay ko sa description below. Number 3, about percentage. Marami na tayong mga posts regarding percentage. Number analogy. Meron din tayong posts about number analogy. Mga tips about number analogy. So, ilalagay ko rin yan sa description. Number 5, ratio and proportion. Marami din tayong mga examples niyan. Number 6, all about fraction. As in, marami na tayong word problems about fractions number 7 meron tayong references regarding rounding off at meron tayong mga videos about rounding off mga examples so ilalagay ko rin yan sa description below kung sakaling nalilito kayo dito number 8 we have algebraic equation number 9 geometry number 10 mixture Bago natin umpisahan itong PEMDAS na ito, i-review muna natin ang order of operation or known as PEMDAS. Since meron din tayong exponent with negative base, mag-review din tayo niyan. Umpisahan natin sa grade 7 textbook. Meron din tayong mga link below sa description yung another example sa PEMDAS and nandun din yung mga kumplitong references about PEMDAS or order of operation. Mathematicians have agreed to evaluate expressions in the following order. Number one, simplify all operations inside the grouping symbols. Number two, evaluate the exponents. An exponent tells how many times a number is multiplied to itself. The number to be multiplied by itself is called the base. Number three, perform all multiplications and divisions from left to right. Number four, perform all additions and subtractions from left to right. Dito tayo sa grade six textbook. The following is the order of operations. Number one, compute the expressions in parentheses first. Number two, evaluate exponents next. Number three, multiply or divide from left to right. Number four, Add or subtract from left to right. Para mas lalong maintindihan, doon tayo sa grade 5 textbook. A series of operations may also involve grouping symbols and exponents. In solving series of operations, the following rules can be used. Number 1. Simplify the operations inside the grouping symbols first. Grouping symbols are always done from the innermost set outward. Rule number 2. Evaluate exponential expressions. Rule number three, multiply and divide in the order they appear from left to right. Kung ano ang nauna. Kung nauna si multiplication, unahin natin. Kung nauna si division, unahin natin. Rule number four, add and subtract in the order they appear from left to right. Ganun din. Kung nauna si addition, unahin natin. Kung nauna si subtraction, unahin natin. Para mas klaro, doon tayo sa grade 4 textbook. So, dito sa grade 4 textbook, mas klaro siya. Ang tanong dito is, which one is correct? Ang given is, ang question is, 64 divided by 8 times 4 divided by 2. Is it letter A na minumultiply muna bago sila na-divide? Is it letter B na from left to right? Or is it letter C na from right to left? Ang answer dito ay letter B. Since there is only multiplication and division in the number sentence, we work from left to right. Thus, the correct answer is letter B. Grade 4 textbook. Grade 4 textbook pa rin tayo. So, doon tayo sa addition and subtraction. Ang question dito is which of the, the answers is, is correct? 
84 minus 25 plus 13 minus 7. Is it letter A na left to right? B na inuuna yung addition bago yung mga uh, subtraction? Is it letter C na right to left? Ang answer dito ay yung letter A. To make sure we will all arrive all this at the same answer, the order of operations was agreed upon. Since there is only addition and subtraction in the number sentence, we work from left to right. Thus, the correct answer is A. This is from Grade 4 Textbook, Chapter 2, Page 62, Operations on Whole Numbers. No maliban sa libro natin, yung Grade 4, Grade 5, Grade 6, at Grade 7 na mga references, basahin natin ito from study.com. Here is an explanation of the rules given in PEMDAS. P as the first letter means you complete any calculations in grouping symbols first. Number two. Next, look for exponents E. Ignore any other operation and take any numbers with exponents to their respective powers. Number three. Even though M for multiplication in PEMDAS comes before D for division, these two operations actually have the same priority. Complete only those two operations in the order they occur from left to right. Claro na ito. Number four. Even though A for addition in, is in PEMDAS before S for subtraction, these two operations also have the same priority. You look for these last two operations from left to right and complete them in that order. Now let's do exponent with negative base. Dito tayo sa reference natin, coolmath.com. So, ang dito, ang example dito ay 3 na exponent of 4. So, yung 3 yan yung base, ang 4 yan yung exponent. Diretso tayo dito. Are this the same? Yung negative 5 nasa, uh, nasa loob ng parenthesis, tsaka siya ni raise ng 2, and negative 5 raised to 2. Other than some purple on one of them, I'll bet you aren't so sure. Binasa ko lang. They are actually very different. So let's learn what each one means. The parentheses are important. They put a box around the negative. Kaya na-include yung negative. Kaya itong Nasa loob ng parenthesis na negative 5, tsaka siya ni raise ng 2, that means negative 5 times negative 5 equals positive 25. Here's the other one. Negative 5 raised to 2. Walang parenthesis or pareho lang kung lahat yan ay nasa loob ng parenthesis. This negative is out in front and not lock into the 5. So, yung negative 5 raised to 2, ibig sabihin, the negative stays out in front. Ang i-multiply lang natin, or yung multiply by itself lang dito ay yung 5 lang. So, yung negative nasa labas lang. So, ang i-multiply lang natin ay yung 5. 5 times 5, mas bali negative 5 times 5 equals negative 25. So, Si negative 5 na nasa loob ng parenthesis, tsaka siya ni raise ng 2 is equals to positive 25. While ang negative 5 raised to 2, walang parenthesis, is equals to negative 25. So here's another set of example. Ang isa na yung negative 3, yung dalawa na nasa loob ng parenthesis, tsaka siya ni raise ng 2, the answer is positive 9. While negative 3 raised to 2 lang, and that is negative 9. Another example, uh, galing sa purplemath.com or another reference natin, simplify negative 3, nasa loob ng parenthesis pariho, raised to 2. The square means multiplied against itself with two copies of the base. This means that I'll have two minus signs which I can cancel. So, ang ibig sabihin nito ay negative 3 times negative 3, that means positive 9. Pero, pasahin ko ulit ito, pay careful attention and note the difference between the above exercise and the following. Which is ito, simplify negative 3 raised to 2, walang parenthesis. Or, 
Pareho lang din ito kung nasa loob sila lahat ng parenthesis. Pareho lang din. So, negative 3 raised to 2. That means, yung 3 lang ang multiply natin by itself. Walang, hindi kasali yung negative. So, negative times 3 times 3 equals negative 9. Basahin natin ito. In the second exercise, which is ito, ito nga, the square to the power 2 was only on the 3. It was not on the minus sign. Now, let's answer PEMDAS. Question number 1, PEMDAS. So, based on review natin na order of operation or sa acronym na PEMDAS. M or D, D A or S. Parenthesis. Ang nasa loob ng parenthesis natin ay yung mga exponent. Sa loob ng parenthesis, yun ang unahin natin. Ang nasa loob ng parenthesis dito ay negative 5 raised to 2. Hindi naka-enclose sa parenthesis yung negative at saka si 5, hindi ganito. Hindi siya ganyan, saka siya ni raise ng 2. So, hindi siya pareho. So, yung ibig lang sabihin nito, itong negative 5 na ito raised to 2 is negative, yung 5 lang ang multiply by itself. So, ang sagot dyan ay negative 25. So, this is negative 25. Erase muna natin ito. Next, ito multiply ng negative 2, ang negative 2 mismo, including yung negative bali, in-enclose sa parenthesis, tsaka siya ni-raise ng 2. And that means, negative 2 times negative 2 equals positive 4. So, ang answer dito ay positive 4 or 4 lang. Tapos na tayo dyan. Dito muna tayo sa exponent. Negative 100 raised to 0. And that is negative 1. Kasi lahat ng numbers ni raise ng 0 ay equals to 1. So, ito ang sagot dito ay negative 1. Kopyahin natin ulit yung lahat. So, 20 negative 1 plus 100 divided by negative 25 times 4. According sa order of operation, ang next natin gawin ay ang multiplication at division. Ang nauna dito ay division. So, according sa rule, whichever comes first, from left to right. Kaya unahin natin si division. Erase muna natin yan. So, 100 divided by negative 25 and that is negative 4. Negative 4 times 4 is equals to negative 16. So, i-bring down lang natin itong 20 minus 1. Itong positive, naging negative na yan siya kasi positive 100 divided by negative 25. Next, 20 minus 1 minus 16. Subtraction lang naman ang nandyan. So, gawin natin 20 minus 1 that is 19. 19 minus 16 and that is 3. So, ang sagot dito ay 3. Ngayon, i-double check natin using calculator. Kung tama ba ang sagot nating 3. So, 20 minus 100 raised to 0. Erase muna natin itong isang automatic na naglagay ng open parenthesis. Plus 100 divided by, i-close natin sa, uh, i-lagay natin siya sa parenthesis, negative 5 raised to 2. Tapos i-delete natin itong ibang parenthesis para parehong-pareho siya sa given. Times, sa loob ng parenthesis, ang negative 2 raised to 2, tapos ilagay natin sa parenthesis pareho, itong kuan para mas klaro lang. Ganyan, i-delete natin yung iba. So, pareho na siya. 20 minus 100 raised to 0 plus 100 divided by yung negative 5 raised to 2, pareho na sa loob ng parenthesis lahat, times negative 2 Nasa loob ng parenthesis, tsaka siya ni-raise ng 2. Ang sagot ay positive 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang 3 ay tama. Number 2, 
Let's do number series. Sa description ng video ito, ilalagay ko yung link sa tips for solving number series or yung mga patterns, yung kadalasang patterns na ginagamit sa number series. So, i-click nyo yung link na yun para ma-practice nyo yung mga patterns na yun. Para mahulaan mo kung ano yung next, meron tayong tinatawag na pattern. So, bali, ang number series, ang hahanapin mo lang, ang pinakahanapin han, hanapin mo ay yung pattern. Dito, 9. Ang next, 4. Tapos, naging 25. Tapos, naging 6. So, ibig sabihin, nag-up and down yung mga numbers. Pero, anong napansin nyo? Yung nag-alternate yung numbers. Pero, yung mga na-alternate na numbers, anong meron? 9, 25, 49, at 81, anong meron dyan? Yan yung mga perfect square ng 3, 5, 7, 9. So, ibig sabihin, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, ang sagot dito ay letter B. Now, let's do percentage. 50 is one half percent of what number? Itong mga ganitong question, may lumabas na ganito sa civil service exam. So, dapat, wag nyo i-ignore itong mga ganitong tanong. Okay. Is equal yan siya. So, kopyahin muna natin si 50. One half percent, this is one half percent of multiplication yan. What number? Let n be that number. Itong one half percent, ay the same as 0.5%. Para makancel out si 0.5%, dapat mag-divide tayo ng 100% or mag-move ka ng two decimal places to the left side tapos i-cancel out si percent sign. 1, 2. So, bali itong 1 half percent is equivalent to 0 0.005. Meron tayong separate video on how to... Um, convert percentage to decimal or decimal to percentage. So, erase muna natin ito at isulat ang equivalent niya na 0.005 tapos times n to 50. Ngayon, para ma-isolate si n dyan, dapat mag-divide tayo sa both side ng 0.005 0.005 5. So, makancel out na si 0 0.005 dito sa right side at ma-isolate na si N. In other words, kapag itong 0 0.005 na to nag-multiply dito, dito sa kabila kung i-transfer mo siya, pang-divide siya sa number dito sa left side natin. Sa kabila. So, erase muna natin itong mga arrow-arrows. So, ito na yung isolve natin. 1, 2, 3. Para ma-whole number yung denominator natin. Then, ito ang, ang uh, para klaro, isulat ko nga ulit dito. So, 50. Tapos, 0 0.005. Nag-move ako ng decimal sa, sa denominator ko. Kasi, gawin natin siyang whole number. 1, 2, 3. So, dito siya. Kung nag-move ka ng uh, decimal sa denominator mo, yung numerator mo, mag-move ka rin. Kung 3 times yan, 3 times ka rin dito. 1, 2, 3. So, lagyan mo ng 0 ito. In other words, 50,000 divided by 5. 50,000 divided by 5 and that is 10,000. So, ang sagot dito ay letter C, 10,000. Again, mayroon tayong separate video about percentage. Now, number 4, number analogy. Pero before we will proceed, basahin muna natin ang mga meaning or i-search natin sa Google ang regarding sa number analogy. Anong meron dyan sa number analogy na yan? So, start natin dito. Number analogy. Understanding number analogy is a crucial step in solving questions on reasoning ability. The reasoning ability is checked mainly by the questions related to number analogy. The candidates are asked to identify and point out relationships, similarities, or differences and dissimilarities in a series or between groups of numbers. Sayin natin. We shall see how to identify and see the, this concept to solve some problems. 
Broadly speaking, the number analogy-based questions may be of two types. Finding a missing number from a given analogy, then find a set of numbers that are related to the same rule as the one given. If you read newspapers, you will find this section very, very easy. In these kinds of questions in bank exams, you will be asked to guess the missing number of or complete a series from a given series of numbers. The tricks or the time savers here are to look for common rules. Check for relations like is a factor of, is a multiple of, is a root of, is a square of, or a combination of these rules. Uulitin ko, kapag sinabing number analogy, as much as possible, wag mo siyang isolve pareho sa ratio and proportion. Iba siya. As much as possible, iba siya. Okay. 73 is to 20. 65 is to what? Tingnan natin kung anong pattern meron sa 73 is to 20. What if i-add natin itong dalawa? This is 10. I-multiply natin ng 2 and that is 20. Kung ano ang ginawa natin dito, ganun din ang gagawin natin sa next. 65. Kung i-add natin si 65 and that is 11. Tapos i-multiply na natin ng 2 and that is 22. Nasa choices ang 22. So, yan na yung sagot. Now, let's do number 5, ratio and proportion. So, again, pinag sunod-sunod ko talaga itong number analogy at saka si ratio and proportion para makuha nyo or makita nyo yung difference nila. Okay. Ratio and proportion na word problem. Pedro took a total of six quizzes over the course of two weeks. How many weeks of school will Pedro have to attend this quarter before he will have taken a total of 15 quizzes? So, this is 6 is to 2, equals 15 is to what? I multiply natin ito, and this is 30 divided by 6. So the answer is 5. Letter A. Let's do solution number 2. Ang hinahanap natin ay ilang weeks. Let X be that weeks, si X over 15 quizzes. While itong isa, 2 weeks with 6 quizzes equals, cross multiply natin yan. So this is 6X equals 2 times 15. 2 times 15 equals 30. Then 6X. Para ma-isolate itong ginamit nating variable dito na X, letter X, i-divide natin ng 6 to both sides para makancel out si 6 dito at X na lang ang natira. In other words, itong 6, minumultiply man sa X. So, kung nag-multiply si X sa X, pang-divide siya dito sa kabila. Kung mag-transfer tayo sa kabila. So, ito, X is equals to 30 divided by 6 equals 5. So, ang sagot dito ay 5. So, let's do this rounding off. Round off 5,833.554 to the nearest hundreds. My TH. Ibig sabihin, nandito siya after sa decimal point. Ito yung tenths. Ito yung hundreds. So, ito yung rounding digit natin. Itong 5. Ang right side sa 5 ay less than 5. So, i-keep natin yung 5. So, ang sagot dito ay ito lang. Cancel out mo na yung 4. So, ang answer ay letter B. Meron tayong maraming mga examples about rounding off. So, Meron tayong link about dyan, nilalagay ko lang sa description ng video nito. Number 8, algebraic equation. Simplify the expression. So, ito yung gagawin natin, yung 2 times A at 2 times 3, negative 3. 
2 times a equals 2a. 2 times negative 3 equals negative 6. Kupiahin ito. This is plus 4b. Next, negative 2 times a equals negative 2a. Negative 2 times negative b, that is positive 2b. Negative 2 times negative 2, and that is positive 4. Tapos, kopyahin si plus 5. Next, ipagsama natin ang mga like terms. Itong a, dito tayo mag-focus sa mga a, okay? 2a minus 2a. Cancel out na natin yan siya. Next, 4b plus 2b, that is 6b. Negative 6 plus 4, that is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 5, and that is positive 3. So, ang sagot dito ay 6b plus 3, or 3 plus 6b. Pareho lang yan. Question number 9, let's do geometry. The measure of one supplementary angle is twice the measure of the second. What is the measure of each angle? Pag sinabing supplementary, ang total niyan ay 180 degrees. Again, one supplementary angle, so ibig sabihin, 180 degrees ang total. Ang isa, let A be that kuan yung isang angle. Anggul natin. Plus, twice the measure of the second one. Twice daw yung pangalawa. Equals 180 degrees. A plus 2A equals 3A. Equals 180 degrees. Then, para ma-isolate si A dito, as usual, mag-divide tayo ng 3 to both sides. Or, nag-multiply si 3 dito, kaya pang-divide si 3 sa kabila. Cancel out na yan. A is equals to 180 divided by 3, that is 60 degrees. So, isang angle ay equivalent ng 60 degrees. Yung isa, 60 degrees, 60 degrees times 2 equals 120 degrees. So, ang sagot dito, what is the measure of each angle? 60 degrees and 120 degrees. Question number 10, mixture. Last March daw, this year, wala daw lumabas na mixture. Pero, last 2018, meron. Kabisaduhin natin ito kasi baka lumabas ito this coming August. Jan has 30 inches of a 20% of salt solution. How much salt should he add to make it a 25% solution? So 20% of 30 plus 100% kasi ang tanong how much salt should he add? So 100% sa salt. 100% of N, let N be that, uh, so let N be that own chest na pure salt equals 25% of, nagmultiply tayo, 30 plus N, 30 plus N. There are two ways of solving this. It's either, ikip natin itong lahat ng percent sign, or itong percentage, or, or i-convert natin into decimal numbers. I-keep muna natin itong mga percentage. Pariho lang ang sagot. So, 20 times 30, kasi itong mga off, multiplication yung mga off. So, 20 times 30, that is 600. Plus, 100 N, 100 times N, equals, next, 25 times 30, that is 750, plus 25 times N, that is 25N. Pagsama natin ang mga like terms, kung mag-transfer ta 
tayo from left to right, right to left, kung pang add siya, ma-minus siya sa kabila. Kung pang minus siya, mag maging add siya. So, itong 600, positive 600, nag-add siya, i-minus natin dito. So, ganito na siya, 750 minus 600. Ito, i-keep natin dito, 100N minus 25N. So, this is 75N equals 150. Para ma-isolate si N dito, ma-divide siya sa apang divide siya sa kabila or mag-divide siya to both sides. So, makansin out si 75 dito, i-divide natin sa kabila. N is equals to 150 divided by 75 and that is 2. So, ang sagot dito ay 2 ounces. 2. Another way of solving this, ganito pa rin. Pero, i-convert natin itong mga percentage na to into decimal numbers. So, itong 20% maging 0.2, so times 30. Plus, 100% maging 1 N. Equals, kasi lahat ng mga percentage natin, nag-divide tayo ng 100% para makancel out si percent sign. Or, ginawa lang natin siya na decimal numbers. So, itong 25 naging 0.25 plus 30, plus N. Ito ay 6, plus 1 N equals. So, 0.25 times 30, that is 7.5. 0.25 times N is, plus yan, 0.25 N. Ipagsama ang mga like terms, 1 N minus 0.25 N, Tapos si 7.5 minus 6. So, 1N minus 0.25N equals 0.75N. 7.5 minus 6, that is 1.5. Ganun pa rin ang sagot. So, so dito na si 75. 0.75, cancel out na siya dyan. Isolate na si N dito. So, N is equals to 1.5 divided by 0.75. The answer is 2. So, ganun pa rin. 2 ounces. Mm -hmm.